This is a project I'm currently working on. It is basically a physical version of the game Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. It has three modules that you have to disarm, to disarm the entire device. The story of the game is that you are on a plane and you hear something ticking inside one of the bags. After opening all the bags, you find this and some other devices that are useful for solving the puzzle. You have one hour. This is the frequency module. The goal is to get each knob to have its correct frequency. There will be a separate puzzle that gives those frequencies. But to insert those, you have to use this. This is a fake handheld game console. You can play Snake. But it also has this uh, frequency menu. As this one plays a frequency, you can adjust the knob to match it. If you think you have the correct uh, positions, you can press this button. If you make a mistake, you lose 10 minutes. And if you have correct positions, it will uh, disarm this module. The switch module is the simplest one of them. You just have to enter correct positions of the switches. Same as the last time, if you enter incorrect code, it will penalize you with 10 minutes. But when you enter the correct code, this module will be disarmed. Now the wire module. You have uh, wire positions, colors and additionally those measuring pads. This is a really primitive oscilloscope. It measures voltage between those wires. The ground here and then you can see each wire has its own signal. The first one has sine wave, the second one is constant one, the third one is square wave, the fourth one triangle waves and the last one is sawtooth. And based on that information there is a puzzle that gives you a correct order to pull out the wires. Again, if you do it incorrectly, you will lose 10 minutes. But uh, if you do it in the correct way, the bomb will be disarmed. Everything is controlled by this STM32 blue pill board. I use that because it has much more pins than Arduino Nano. As a side note, I made some mistakes with the board. I connected the screen to pins that are reserved for JTAG and USB serial, so I had to reroute those connections. The next step is to design a box for it that covers up all the electronics, except for the wire testing pads. I will make another update when everything is done. Thanks for watching.